Kat and Darren, it was a pretty active scene for much of the day off of South Street here in Castleton as police try to piece together what happened on the rail trail here behind me. Police have still not released the name of the victim or how she died, but residents I spoke with today tell me they're shook up. Probably keep the kids inside and just you know, be a little careful about what we do and be observant. Philip Wagenbach and his family live across the street from the active crime scene where Vermont State Police say a woman was found dead on the rail trail around 4.30 on Thursday afternoon. Witnesses tell police a man could be seen leaving the area shortly after hearing gunfire. We have no idea where this gentleman suspect took off, whether he exited the trail through the woods or just walked it all the way to its end. Images from our SkyMax 3 drone captured investigators coming and going from the scene, as well as canine search teams canvassing the area. Witnesses have described a person seen near where the killing occurred as being 5 foot 10 with dark hair, wearing dark clothing, and carrying a black backpack. Early Friday morning, police in Fairhaven received a call from a resident who saw someone matching that description, but that tip did not lead police to a suspect. In a press conference Friday, police asked residents to come forward with information and to review surveillance video, highlighting the lack of leads in the case. That's in contrast to many recent homicides where police have tried to allay public fears by calling them targeted events. In those other cases that you're talking about that we say are targeted events, we very quickly know it's a targeted event. You know, we know either the suspect knew the victim or vice versa, or uh, we, we had a lot more concrete information to tell us that it was a targeted incident. In this case, we don't. We don't have anything right now. The incident happened about a mile away from Vermont State University's Castleton campus. While some students are on fall break, all campus events were canceled Friday. As the investigation continues, police are reminding residents to be vigilant. Lock your doors, lock your cars, don't leave your keys in your car, um, you know, don't wander around at night, you know, wander in pairs. If you're going to be out, be with a friend. Now, I have been in contact with Major Trudeau throughout much of the afternoon. He tells me that they still don't have any pictures of the suspect that they're looking for, only witnesses who saw a man leave the area. Now, police are still waiting for the autopsy results before they release the name of the victim and how she died. Live in Castleton, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News.